As you may know, we're doing all hundred Western actors that have been honored at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum in Oklahoma. We thought that you might like to see a little bit of the museum. As you walk through the doors, the first thing you see is this huge white sculpture by James Earl Frazier, who did the original version of the work in 1894. He did several replicas in both plastic and bronze. He called it the end of the trail. The sculpture depicts a weary Native American wearing only the remains of a blanket and carrying a spear. The man in the statue is based on Chief John Big Tree, a member of the Syndicate Nation and an actor who appeared in 59 films between 1915 and 1950. The idea was to show the suffering and exhaustion of a weary people who had been driven from their native lands. In 1915, it was one of the most visited exhibits at the Pan Am Pacific International Exhibition in San Francisco. It was the most photographed image at the fair and became the most recognized image all over the world. The sculpture stands 18 feet tall and weighs several tons. When World War I started, somehow the sculpture was discarded and got lost, and James Frazier tried to locate it for years, but couldn't. Years later, the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum located the sculpture in Mooney Grove Park in California. It had been neglected and unkept, with kids climbing and playing on it. It was moved and restored by the museum. You can see replicas of this sculpture on anything from postcards to belt buckles. If you turn to the left, you'll see a beautiful stagecoach. Nothing like what was used in the Old West. I can't imagine what people would think if this one pulled up for passengers in 1885. They have a set of stairs so that you can go inside. The seats are plush, and I kept thinking of poor John Wayne sitting in the floor in the movie Stagecoach. In this one, he would have had a padded bench to sit on. Now, I wouldn't have any trouble at all riding all the way to Lordsburg in this one. From behind the Stagecoach, they have a small lake with water spouts. It's very pretty and a person could spend all day just sitting there and looking at it. As a matter of fact, I met a lady that said that she come almost every day to the museum to just sit and relax. It was so peaceful. This is a bronze statue of Charlton Heston with the outfit he was wearing when he played Will Penny. The seven and a half foot statue was dedicated on September the 25th, 2002, and Tom Selleck did the honors. Close to Heston is another bronze icon. I'm sure you'll recognize John Wayne. He's wearing the famous outfit he wore in so many of his movies. This is a statue of President Ronald Reagan. He was here only a few months after leaving the White House. And this is the Great Hall, where the actors are inducted. Of course, it's empty now, but it comes alive every year. I want to show you a couple of paintings on the walls that they have for sale. The first is an Indian village, and of course, you recognize Judge Roy Bean's Jersey Liddy. The paintings are very good, but you need to be sitting down when you see the price. At the end of the mall 
is a large sculpture of Abraham Lincoln. It seems a little bit out of place as I didn't know that Abraham Lincoln was a cowboy. But who knows, he might have been one at heart.